What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk about something that I've been getting requested for, especially by my boy DS Trucks. How do you test your batteries? It's cold. This one looks nasty. And well, so does this one. I'm going to show you guys how to test your batteries using a variety of battery testers, including this one we have to use for warranty. Let me know how you guys are testing your batteries and even if you're testing your batteries. All right guys, let's do it. Alright guys, welcome back. This is something that's very important. Battery health, battery state of charge, and how you determine that. <laughs> well, I hope yours don't look like this. If you guys have seen me put the batteries in, uh, we'll reference the video I just did for adding the secondary battery to your gas job. I always hit my terminals with some high temp black spray paint. That seems to keep all of this nasty corrosion off of the tops of the batteries these ones looks like they have been replaced but i don't know how long these have been here so the question lies how do you know what the state of charge is on your batteries now we have a couple of different things we can use this one is a dealer item a dealer tool we've had this for quite some time and it is very simple literally hook up the leads just like you see me doing and the unit well well the unit is supposed to turn on and oh there we go low battery replace internal battery there's going to be a series of questions it's going to ask you if it's in or out of the vehicle we put in going to select the ccas we'll go to 750 because that's what this truck's got in it Ooh, that was close going to hit testing Testing, testing, one, two, three, it says good battery. One of the things that I just skipped over, I was gonna see if you guys are gonna notice and call me out. These batteries are all hooked together. That positive is going over to that positive. In theory, I just checked both of these batteries together. If you're gonna check your batteries on your Super Duty and you have dual batteries, go ahead and disconnect either whatever you want, the negative or the positive. You do not want to connect these batteries together. You wanna to check each battery by itself. The reading you saw in here could be pretty close to the battery voltage in here, but we wanna accurate from battery to battery and I would definitely disconnect one of these battery leads prior to you testing your battery. Now the same thing goes for using this. This is the battery tester that we have to use for our warranty batteries. This goes through and checks the load of the battery, puts a load on the battery, and measures the battery's ability to recover after it puts a small charge on it. If it deems that the battery is in good state of health but just needs to charge, it'll actually have a counter and will count down. It can be an hour up to sometimes uh, on getting this battery back up to the proper state of health. And for battery replacement when warranty, we have to print out the slip and attach that to the RO. We're gonna go over some of those things that the technician has to do, technician warranty responsibilities as part of not just working on power strokes, but this is what I have to do on a daily um, in order to get this processed to get paid by Ford Motor Company. This is something on the back end. This is something that you guys usually ever see, but this is our go-to battery charger tester when we are doing warranty repairs. Now these ones up here, like I said, this one here is, this one's old, it's been around for quite some time. Remember the quick lane days of having this. The other one we have here, I did a video on this. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can see how this works. This is another battery tester. It actually is a battery tester, cranking tester, and charging tester. It'll give you a bunch of information whether or not you got a good cranking capacity, good charging voltage, battery test. Um, it was real easy to use and I feel that if somebody needs to have this in their arsenal, whether it was a DIYer or somebody that is, you know, in a fast lube, quick lane or, you know, doing something 
that we don't need sophisticated, we don't need to put a load on the battery or um, you know, put so many amps through it to see how the battery is gonna recover. That is something that's pertinent just to this one. If we're coming in for an oil change and we're doing our multi-point inspection, this is something we can definitely use to check our battery state of health, uh, assuming that the customer is not coming in looking like this. Obviously, if that comes in like this, we're gonna wanna replace these batteries always. If you have a diesel, always, always get in the habit of replacing both of your batteries together. You don't ever wanna replace just one. I've had an instance where we had a good battery over here, a bad battery over here, and that bad battery actually leached the voltage from this battery and was still and the vehicle was still having battery electrical concern so word to the wise if you are going to be replacing batteries and you're asking yourself a question do I just do one do I just do two you're gonna want to do both it's something that I recommend to all my customers when they're doing their batteries whatever battery you want to use just make sure they're not uh, some crappy batteries get some you pay for what you get get decent batteries. Our diesels not only have high compression, but all the electronics and modules and everything that needs to be powered up as soon as we hit that key or we push our button. Battery voltage is crucial. Glow plugs, drawn juice, everything. Uh, I want to know what you guys are doing. What battery testers are you using? What is your method for testing batteries? DS Trucks, I hope this explains it and you understand now what exactly you have to do. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and always, I thanks for watching. See ya!